You slept all day today again, didn't you? You didn't help out at all around the house, right? Are you seriously gonna just do nothing all the time? Shouldn't you feel a little more responsibility as my wife to fulfill your duties? You really need to work a little harder. Stop being such a shitty wife. You're really going too far. You don't understand still? I've been sick because of morning sickness. How can you be so mean to me? You're just being spoiled right now. Morning sickness is something that you're using as an excuse. You realize that I had someone working in our office that was pregnant, right? She never seemed to complain at all. If anything, she was working harder than anyone else. She never brought up anything about morning sickness. That's because every person is different when they're pregnant. Not everyone reacts the same way. I'm having the kind of pregnancy where my morning sickness is really bad. That's just how I am. I'm taking off my work because of my morning sickness, too. It's not really anything that's new news to people. I want you to let me rest at home since that's why I'm taking off in the first place. Why doesn't someone who's more able-bodied right now take care of the household chores? Literally anyone who's not pregnant. I've been taking care of everything normally, so yeah. You guys can pick up the slack for just a little bit. Oh, come on. That's the attitude you're going to be giving me right now? My parents are letting you stay at their house because they want to be kind to you or something. How about you start showing your appreciation towards them for once? You need to be better. I didn't even really want to live with them to begin with, so I don't know what you're talking about. You decided all on your own, Jason. I never agreed to any of this. The only reason I trusted you to move in with your parents was because you promised me that we would eventually move out to our own house. Are you seriously trying to move at all, or are you just full of it? I need to know now. If you have time to think about crap like that, how about you do something for a change around the house? How about trying to cook something every once in a while for everyone, huh? You really need to stop just hanging around and resting all the time. You're literally just being a leech right now. It's not like I'm being lazy right now. I'm literally sick. How many times do I have to explain this to you? You better do the right thing and work hard starting tomorrow as our personal driver for the vacation. <laughs> Wait, what? What are you talking about, driver? I'm going to be driving? Well, yeah, no shit. <laughs> I want to drink from around lunch, so like... I'm going to need you to drive. If you don't drive, we don't need you at all, you know? You're just coming along as a driver. Consider yourself lucky. You realize that I might get really sick along the way. I really can't predict or put a pin on when I'm going to feel really bad out of the blue. Honestly, I really wanted to just cancel the trip outright, but I don't know. What do you think about just not going at all? What? You can't cancel it all now. <laughs> you being serious right now? <laughs> this is like the only time that you're really able to be of use to anyone at all. You're normally so useless. How about you start thinking about those around you and being a productive, useful wife for once? Wait, seriously? Are you not messing with me right now? No, no, no. Tell me the truth. Be honest with me here. Just to make things crystal clear, you want to take your pregnant wife, who is suffering from a severe case of morning sickness, to go to some family vacation against her will and use her as some kind of personal servant for you and your family? You really need to stop complaining about your morning sickness already. I'm not going to spoil you. You better take care of everything at the hotel. <laughs> Are you shitting with me, you moron? You must be mistaking your wife to be some kind of slave for you. Is that what's going on? You didn't know that your wife wasn't your slave? If that's the case, you need to go really take a really, really cold shower to wake yourself up from the delusion you're believing in. You're really taking this all too far, Kayla. Look, let's just be real here. You have no right to say no here. You're going. You better work hard, wifey. <laughs> Are we clear? Yeah, no. Not gonna fly today, Chief. You're not going to cancel the vacation for me either, just to be clear? If you're canceling on us, how the hell are we gonna be driving to our vacation spot? Someone's gotta drive us! You literally promised that you were gonna drive for us. Did you seriously already forget that you said you'd drive? You really need to make sure you're in tip-top shape so that you can drive for us. If I could figure out how to just feel better and be in tip-top shape, I wouldn't be having such a hard time. 
Are you aware that the child that is in my belly right now is literally your own child as well? You need to come home already. You better really rethink your priorities before you come home too. Miss Kayla, what the hell are you doing? Care to explain what's going on here? I heard that you don't want to go on the family vacation with us or something. You really need to stop spewing such nonsense, young lady. Well, you're really going hard on me, aren't you? You kind of surprised me with how intent all of you are on going on this trip. You haven't been doing anything as a housewife recently. You've just been in bed all day like a little sloth. How about you actually show your worth by driving us when we're going on vacation, huh? You need to pick up the slack, lady. Do you understand? Are we clear? I'll be honest with you, it kind of depends on how I'm feeling at the time, but apparently I'm going to be going on the vacation, so I'll go while resting frequently to make sure that the baby is okay and everything. I can't believe that you'd say such a thing to your own mother-in-law. I just don't believe what I'm hearing. You really have some nerve saying that, don't you? Didn't your parents teach you any manners? How does Jason put up with you, really? You must really have to be so incredibly patient dealing with some spoiled lady like yourself. I'm honestly fed up, to be honest with you, and I don't know if I can do this anymore. You and I both. I don't know if I can keep this up. I thought you finally got pregnant and you'd be of any worth to this family, but then you started doing nothing. You think that just because you're pregnant you don't have to do anything? That you can just get away with anything and do whatever you like? Well, let me tell you that when I became pregnant, no one allowed that to happen. I'm sorry that you lived in such an inconvenient day and age, but that has nothing to do with my morning sickness at all. You're really just a terrible person, aren't you? You're impossible to get along with. You keep this shit up. I'm going to be chasing you out of the house. You will not be staying here with us. Honestly, I'm okay with that. I'd prefer that, actually. I wasn't really into living with his parents anyway. I wanted to live somewhere else. But Jason was intent on living with his mummy and daddy. So that's why this has all developed into whatever is going on here right now. We are here thanks to your lovely son, Jason. If you really want to chase me out of the house, please talk to Jason about it and figure it out with him. You're such a bitchy wife. Why do you have to be so thorny when you talk to other people? Whatever, you're only going to be able to act so tough and strong now. You'll see. Excuse me? What are you talking about? Nothing. It's just something on this end. You better make sure you show up tomorrow and drive correctly. I'm going to be expecting you to cook breakfast for me, too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I won't be able to cook you guys breakfast. I don't think I'll be able to wake up at all. You guys will just have to figure it out on your own, please. I'm begging you. Hey, where the hell are you? I can't find you. We're gonna go out and sightsee one last time before we go home. Get ready. Your whole family is serious the most rotten group of people I've ever seen. I'm being dead serious right now. What are you talking about, Kayla? <laughs> you need to stop. They're literally your family too. You can't be like that. Stop talking like that. I don't want to consider any of them my family. I don't want to be a part of that. I keep saying that I feel terrible because of my morning sickness, and I've repeated myself several times, but no one's listened. Even yesterday, they wouldn't let me drive on the highway. They said it was too expensive. They made me drive on the side road. Well, they're literally spitting the truth. Highways are really expensive. You have to save money as much as you can. You can't just be spending money willy-nilly. There were no rest stops, and I really felt like I was dying. I was like a zombie driving. And even after we got to the hotel, you kept trying to make me do a bunch of random crap. You wanted to just keep commanding me around like I was some kind of slave. It was all really grating, and you all sounded like little toddlers who couldn't take care of themselves. Why are you saying stuff like that? <laughs> Come on, cheer up! We just used you to your fullest extent as our personal housewife, right? You should be honored that we would even do that for you. Aren't you happy that you were able to stay at the hotel with us? Come on, cheer up! No, it's not just okay. I'm not happy. This is literally why I wanted to cancel. I knew I would feel terrible and then all of this would happen the way it did. I didn't even want to go on this vacation at all. I wanted to stay at home and rest. You just wanted me to go to use me as your personal slave, right? I know that's all you wanted me there for. So what? <laughs> you need to stop your bitching and moaning already. 
How about we wrap up this saw parade and start counting our own blessings, huh? If you don't come to our family vacation, who's going to be taking care of us during our vacation? Someone's got to look after us. You need to stop being spoiled just because you're suffering from morning sickness. Get the hell in the car! I'm seriously feeling the worst I've ever felt in my life. Mom and everyone else are waiting for you. <laughs> waiting for me, huh? They're all in the lobby then? Yeah, exactly. Hurry up. Come on, let's go. We're all gonna go driving and go sightseeing before we go home today. You can all just wait there then for an eternity. Just rot. Your whole family can disappear. What? What are you talking about? Later, you world-renowned piece of shit. Hey, what the hell is going on? Explain yourself! Where the hell did you go? You just disappeared! I've already checked out and we want to hurry up and go out to sightsee and whatnot. We're all waiting for you. We're getting really tired of waiting around for you. Where are you? Are you just sitting around doing nothing somewhere again? Where are you doing nothing now? I'm already on my way home. I'm not there. What? What do you mean? Well, I'm driving home on the highway. You know, that one thing that you said I wasn't allowed to use because you're such a stingy person? I'm actually just hanging out at the little rest stop between the house and that stupid hotel. What, are you saying that you left us behind? You didn't do that, did you? There's no way that you just left us here! You really think you can get away with doing that? You're gonna pay for this, you understand? Kayla, stop messing around already! Turn the hell around and come back here! That's exactly what I wanted to tell your whole family. Stop messing around. What? I was seriously just at the end of my patience and so pissed off. So I just took out my revenge on your whole shitty family. I'm going to be driving straight back to my parents' house using our car now. What are you talking about going back to your parents' house? What are you going to go back to your parents' house for? I already have the divorce papers placed out on the desk back at home. What are you talking about, Kayla? You're not making any sense at all. Just hurry up and get back here already. You're taking too long. Are you seriously not here at the hotel anymore? You've already left? I told you I'm not there anymore. I've left. I'm sure you and yours were all expecting me to drive you to your destination and just catch a ride back with me, but... I'm not there anymore, so you guys just figure out how to get home on your own, please. I'm not going to help. What? I found the and I lost for words! What the hell, Kayla? Why would you do such a thing to us? How could you do that? What do you mean, why? Or how could I? The car is under my name, I bought it with my money, and I own it outright. It's mine. If I want to go home, I'm going to go home. I'm the driver, and it's literally my car. It's all me. The only reason I took the car is because it literally belongs to me, and I'm taking all of my belongings. You were joking about drinking from the middle of the day before, but let's be real with each other. You don't even have a driver's license because you're too stupid to go get a license. I mean, that's true, but right now, that has nothing to do with anything. Do you understand? This is all unimportant right now. You need to get your ass back here right now. You can't just say, oh, sorry, I left. I need you to be back here right now to help us. I can't just accept that you're gone like that. I still need to have you drive. I mean, we're going to get a divorce, so I don't need to take care of your stupid family at all. Just so you know, I'm planning on making sure that not a single one of you ever sees my child. I mean that. What? What the hell are you talking about, Kayla? You realize that that is my child as well? You can't just do that to me. Okay, so it's your child as well. So what? You have literally zero interest in me, your wife, who is actually pregnant with your child. You think that the child is just going to grow up and become an adult even if you just leave it alone? That you don't need to be a parent? You have no awareness that you're going to become a parent, and I really don't have any intention or motivation to be raising a child with you at all. I also have proof of your affair that you're having, so I'm going to be suing you for all the damages. You better be ready. Wait, 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 hang on! What are you talking about? You need to calm way down. No, no. You're the one that needs to calm down. 
Proof of my affair? I don't even know the hell you're talking about, Kayla. You don't have any proof of that. I know you're full of it. Actually, as far as the proof of your affair, I sent your mum all of the photos of you with your partner, you know, having fun. I'm sure they're going to be able to tell for sure who's doing what where now, right? No arguing? You're just a piece of shit husband that cheated on his wife while his wife was pregnant with his only child. Go to hell. You don't have to taunt me that badly. What the hell, Kayla? What do you have against me? Besides, how did you even find out about the affair at all? I didn't even think you knew about it at all. Not that I'm here admitting about it or anything. Like, how did you think that you have figured everything out? I don't care if you admit or don't admit anything. I already said earlier, I've got proof of you and your stupid affair. I don't care as long as you pay your dues and damages for your affair. Damages? Are you serious about getting a divorce too? I thought you were just messing around with me. I don't think I've ever given you permission to go and try to divorce me like that. Why the hell do I need your permission to divorce you? <laughs> you were cheating on me, so it's plenty of reason for me to get a divorce with you. There's no reason I need to hide. Also, I'm pretty sure I know that you were intending on getting a divorce with me too. I'm not an idiot, Jason. What? What are you talking about, Kayla? You were talking to your mom last night. I overheard what the two of you were saying. You were going to make your mom raise a child after it was born and not let me raise my own child. You were going to chase me out of your house and make sure that I never saw the child, right? Was that your plan? And that she wanted you to make sure that I didn't divorce you until the baby was born, right? That was your plan? What? You were listening to me? How much did you hear? No, wait, hang on. You, you completely misunderstood what was being talked about. Mom said that she wanted to raise her kids, so I just couldn't, you know? It's not just your kid, you freaking idiot. It's our child. In fact, I'm the one that's over here suffering with morning sickness. I'm the one that's carrying this child everywhere. Do you understand me? Me. You know that, and yet you're saying this kind of dumb shit. Are you serious right now? You're just gonna have me crap out the baby and then chase me out of the house, right? Hooray? That's not what I meant, but like, oh, come on, Kayla, don't be like that. I was gonna talk about it a little, you know? Of course I wouldn't just chase you off like that. Talk about what exactly, Jason? What were we having a discussion about? Oh, you know, what were you gonna do from here on out after the baby was born? All right, then, it's set. You must be super happy, ecstatic even, that you're going to be able to divorce me. How about you just keep making more kids with your affair partner, you piece of shit? Goodbye. You don't have to be that mean or rude, do you? Mom is just excited to have a child. She wants to raise the baby, you know what I mean? We finally got a child, so why don't we stay married, you know? For the, the baby and for each other. I have no intention of letting you do anything for the baby at all. It's my child and only my child. If you want any rights at all, I'm going to make sure that you'll be paying all child support. But I will be sure to make it so that you are only allowed to visit the child once in a while. That's it. You're going to live with the child? Raise the child? Are you serious? You've completely lost your damn mind. You better just keep daydreaming, asshole. I won't stop you. I'm sorry, you're seriously gonna make this a terrible situation if you do this to me. I apologize for the affair, but I want you to have the baby. Please, I'm begging you. I said I would have the baby. Of course I'm going to have the baby. But this child isn't going to have a single thing to do with you or your rotten family. It's my child too, though. Come on, don't be like this, Kayla. I want to raise it with you. Let's both raise a child together. I don't want to get a divorce. You were literally planning on divorcing me after I gave birth to the child. What are you talking about, you dumbass? Alrighty, well, I'll let you know when we're going to be settling everything after the divorce. We'll hash out the details when I'm ready. Alright, so that's all I've got to say. Goodbye, Mr. Failure. I hope to never see or hear from you again. Wait, hang on! What, you have something else you'd like to say to me? About me and my family. We don't have any way to get around right now. How the hell are we supposed to try to brainstorm to get around? Are you seriously asking me? I don't know and I don't care. There aren't really any buses around here or anything. I don't even think there are taxis. Why are you asking me, Jason? Please explain that to me. There are literally 
three grown adults there. How about you guys use whatever brain cells you have to figure it out? Oh, actually, I have a suggestion. You and your shitty family can all just walk home. Okay, that's it. Don't ever think that I'm ever going to do a single thing for you and any of you ever again. I'm never going to be that person anymore. You guys can all live life however the hell you want. Apparently, later on, that whole family had no way home at all. They were trying to figure it out, but they couldn't. They managed to try to find a bus that would drive them closer to where they could take other forms of public transport to make it home. It ended up taking them over half a day to get home. They also tried to figure out how to talk to Kayla again to try to complain to her about the whole ordeal, but she just told them that they could talk to her lawyer because she was going to be getting a divorce, and that was the end of that. Jason heard from the divorce lawyer, and he had to talk to him. His company also apparently caught wind that he was having an affair, and his life was pretty much over as he knew it. He was being sued for damages, and everyone around him figured out that he was having an affair as well. No one would talk to Jason at all, and eventually, he was all alone. Even his family that was doing everything they could to do their absolute worst to Kayla were also shunned completely. Their family apparently all completely split up and lost each other to everything. A few months later, Kayla gave birth to her child successfully and she was happy with her child. Jason, on the other hand, has no plans to ever be able to see his child in the near future. If you think about what he did to her and his child, you can't really expect anything else. Kayla just swore that her and her child would never cross paths with that terrible family ever again.